I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Mustang Lake. All on this right hand side, you got a bunch of mud and shale that are up in here. Pay attention to your water levels because the water level has been dropping out and it's gotten pretty low. So really make sure that you know that your boat can handle skinny water. If not, you might put yourself in a little bit of jeopardy. So make sure you're taking care of that. Well, we've got all these cold fronts that's been coming in here and our water temps have been dropping low and they've been consistently in the 50s and lower 50s. So pay attention, use your suspended baits, your Miradines, your soft dines, your corkies. Uh, the original corkies, fat boys, floaters, and sinkers. All those baits have been super productive for both trout and redfish. Uh, throw your uh, darker down south as well if you want to use that for a locator bait. Let's see if you can kind of zero in where you can get started before you kind of switch over to those suspended baits. Throw the marker 54 uh, jerk shrimp. It's been pretty productive in both the white and the brown. So just kind of pay attention to what your water color is, but it'll let you know what bait that you need to throw. But all this area up in here has got some nice fish that you can put in your box and have a lot of fun up in this area. Over here in Belden Lake, all this area back in here, throw your uh, darker down south, work in the shoreline that's in here. Again, the water level has dropped out. You got really low tides. So there's some nice grass that's working in here. You got a good mud bottom. Make sure that you got some bait working in this area here. You'll locate some nice box fish for your trout and your redfish. There's a bunch of little little redfish that are that are working around in here. There's a whole bunch of those. But if you continue to work through them and get through those, you will find some solid redfish. You'll find that 21 to 24 inch red that you're looking for. Uh, work these edges. Look for the deeper drops early. Work your shallower areas later in the day. Uh, again, throw your floater, corky. Uh, up there in that shallower water. It's uh, pretty productive right now. Uh, the burner shad has been pretty good over in this area as well. Uh, pay attention to your majors and minors and you've got these fronts that are continuing to push in here. So we've got a high pressure that'll be in place. So you may want to change your profile size, go down a little bit because that puts a little bit different pressure on those fish. So they may not be quite as hungry. So make sure you incorporate all those little tactics in your fishing day and you'll have a productive day. Sundown Bay, all along the edge of the ICW, all behind the little island here. You work yourself along this. It's a good wading bottom. It's a little soft here and there, so just be aware of that. But at the same time, there's some nice quality fish that are hanging up here on this flat close to the ICW. Those fish have an opportunity to drop off in that deeper water early on so they can stay warm. Find a little bait that's working along the edge and work that. And as the day continues on, if you're still fishing later in the day, especially with the high pressure in place, it's gonna warm that shallower water up. And you start looking for your bait, working over the grass, closer in, over the mud, closer to the shoreline there. Again, our water levels have dropped out, so all that stuff comes into play. So make sure that your boat can handle super shallow water because it will reach up and grab you real quick if you're not aware of it. Uh, the soft dines have worked real well on the edges, the corkies, both the fat boy and the floaters have worked real well on the edges. And then later in the day, throw your uh, darker down south, your burner shads, your jerk shrimps that are up in the shallow water over here on the flat, all on that, along that edge. You'll find some nice cruisers in both your, your trout and your redfish that'll be in your nice box size. Over here in Port Bay, along this shoreline over here, you're nice and protected from, from a west and northwest and north wind. All this area back in here, you've got nice grass, mud, all in here, some scattered shale that's in here. There's been a decent amount of bait that's working in here, but again, during the winter times, your bait amount is not going to be great like it would be in the spring or the summer. A lot of this bait is run out of here, so the only thing that's really left behind is your mullet. But this area back in here, throwing your soft dines has worked real well, being real patient, letting that bait sink down in there to find those redfish and trout. There's been some good trout pulled out here, by the way, uh, upper not quite upper slot, but it's been in that 19 to 21 inch range. There's been a few pulled out here and there. So just continue to work that with your Miradines. You can throw your Corkies in here as well. All that stuff comes into play, especially again with the water levels being dropped out. You can move it out a little bit further away from the shoreline early. So you're in a little bit deeper water and see if those fish are hanging out there. And as again, as the water warms up, move back in as you're, you'll see your bait starting to work up in there. You probably start seeing some birds work against the shoreline. And as you do, those will be great indicators to let you know that there's more than likely going to be some game fish that's going to be around that area. 
the one thing that you can't do this time of year is get impatient with them because it takes a little time for those fish to get going. Here at Newcomb Point, this whole shoreline. Work this thing out deeper water. Start your day out here. You're going to be protected from the north wind. It's a great little spot to start. Highly overlooked from time to time. As long as you've got just a little bit of bait working here or there, give it an opportunity to find your fish in here. Again, start this thing out earlier away from the shoreline. Probably get out in waist deep where you can throw out maybe in a little bit deeper water. Probably chest deep or over your head deep water, four or five foot. And then you can start working your way back. There's lots of good bottom that's all in this area here. Just be patient with it. This is a great location to throw your soft dines, throw your uh, soft dine XL, throw your corkies, both the floaters and the sinkers. Either one, doesn't matter. It's been real productive in this area here. Both of those, all those baits have been working real well for your trout out here in that little bit deeper water. Just, just kind of work your way down, find a fish, stop, fish it for a little bit until, you, until your bite kind of goes away and then start producing or start moving down until it starts producing again for you stop on that area there and continue to fish it just be patient with it don't there's no real fast time catching these fish just take your time locate them and then just kind of narrow zero in on that that narrow little area and then once you find those fish right there you'll they'll continue to hang there and you'll pull out some pretty decent fish in this area thanks for watching i'm captain larry bell